Next Portal 2005 Ad Staff Guide In this step, you are going to log into the XPortal 2005 client. Before you run XPortal 2005 client, make sure XPortal 2005 server is already running. Click on XPortal 2005 client icon on the desktop. There are two default system user for the system. Please enter user ID and password. You have successfully logged into the client after you click OK. In this step you are going to add staff using the add button. To add staff, select data setup, access data setting and staff records. The staff records menu will be shown. Click the add button to add staff. The highlighted fields must be filled. Other fields is not compulsory to be filled. Please note that the token type, card number, staff number, and one to end fingerprint identification, cannot be changed after saved. Go to Door Accessibility tab to grant access for the staff. Click this button to load Door Accessibility template. Select the door from the list to grant access for the staff. Click OK and click Yes to confirm. Click OK to confirm and save. If you are connected to the controller, the newly added staff will be sent to the controller immediately. Now you have successfully add staff using manual add. In this step, you are going to add staff using batch add. To add staff using batch add, open staff records in data setup. The staff records menu will be shown. Open Batch Add window by clicking on Batch Add link. Batch Add window will be shown. The highlighted fields must be filled. Other fields is not compulsory to be filled. Please note that the token type, start card number, end card number, and one to end fingerprint identification cannot be changed after saved. Go to Door Accessibility tab to grant access for the staff. Click this button to load Door Accessibility template. Select the door from the list to grant access for the staff. Click OK and click Yes to confirm. Click OK to start adding the staff. Please note that staff code and staff number will be generated automatically. If you are connected to the controller, 
the newly added staff will be sent to the controller immediately. Now you have successfully add staff using batch add. In this step, you are going to add staff using scan list. To add staff using scan list, you need to flash card to the reader. You can see the unlisted user in the latest event list. To add the unlisted user, open staff records in data setup. The staff record menu will be shown. Open scan list window by clicking scan list link. Scan list window will be shown. Choose the unlisted user that you want to add. The highlighted fields must be filled. Other fields is not compulsory to be filled. Please note that the token type, and one to end fingerprint identification, cannot be changed after saved. Go to door access code and press to select the door accessibility. Click this button to load existing door accessibility template. Select the door from the list to grant access for the staff. Click OK and click Yes to confirm. Click OK to go back to the scan list window. Click OK again to start adding the staff. If you are connected to the controller, the newly added staff will be sent to the controller immediately. Please note that staff code and staff number will be generated automatically. Now you have successfully add staff using scan list. In this step, you are going to add staff using import staff. To start import staff, you need to create the staff records using Microsoft Excel or text file. The Excel sheet should contain staff number, card number and staff name. Open Xportal 2005 client. To import staff, open staff records in data setup. The staff records menu will be shown. Open import staff window by clicking on import staff button. Import staff window will be shown. Click on data source and select your data source type. Choose the type same with the staff records file that you want to import. Browse for the staff records file and select your sheet name. Select add only under import rules. Click next to proceed. Map the source column number with the destination field. Make sure start from row and end at row is correct. Click next to proceed. Check if there is any exception and make sure the status is OK. Click confirm to continue. If you are connected to the controller, the newly added staff will be sent to the controller immediately. You have completed this ad staff guide. We would love to hear your feedback about this video. Let us know. 
at microengine.net slash support. You also may find us on Facebook, YouTube and Google+. Thanks for watching.